So today we continue with our lesson on data science and machine learning in Python and R. And today we are continuing from the previous lesson of regression. So we built a regression model and we're able to find the slope and the intercept. So let's just get the slope and the intercept. Then we are going to now fit a regression line through the data set. So we are going to do a scatter plot. We're also going to generate new values of y using the model we developed. And then we are going to create a regression line through the scatter plot we already did. And let's see how it goes. So I'm going to run this at this point. Uh, let me run it again because I just opened it. So while you see this filled up uh, box here, it means that the kernel is busy or the system is busy. So it means you need to wait a few seconds. Um, okay, so while it's, it's doing that, I okay, it's completed. So I'm going to run this, run this, run this, run this, run this, and then uh, I'm going to actually delete this because this is a different way of doing it. All right, so let's get the slope and the intercept and fill up the fill up the, the, the values for the slope and the intercept, then we continue. So the slope, uh, we get it by saying, let's just print it, print, print linreg dot slope. Uh, the slope should be quef, quef. So it's the regression coefficient. So this is the slope. So I'm going to run this at this point. Uh, print. So that's the, it's a typo here. So run. Again, please subscribe if you've not subscribed so that you don't miss any update. So hit the subscribe button below uh, so that you don't miss any update at all. So this is lesson three, lesson four. So we are making progress gradually. So if we have two points, zero, zero, five. And the intercept we are going to print, uh, intercept is linreg.intercept. So I'm going to run it as well. And the intercept is 18.74. 18.74. All right, so let's do a plot of x against y. Then we are going to calculate new y values. From here, you can see we are going to calculate new y values, we call it y new, using this equation, okay? All right, so first, let's uh, calculate this value. So I'm going to say y new, y underscore new is equal to, so we have beta 0 plus beta 1x, so we have 18.74, plus, 2.005, 2 uh, times x, times x. So this will be new values for y, okay? So let's plot it, let's run it at this point. All right, so let's do the plot. So first we are going to plot the scatter plot and then we are going to fit a line using the new values. So I'm going to say plt.scatter, I'm going to say x against y. In case you want to see it, you can just run it and you'll be able to see it. But now I'm going to continue. So let me now say plt.plt.plot. .plt this time I'm going to plot x against y new. Uh, and I'm going to run plt.show, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to run it, so let's see. So you can see that we have a regression line fitting through the data set. The regression line was plotted using the model, while the scatter plot is used, we use the original data set we have. Okay, so let me just change the color. Color is equal to, how about red? So, all right, so this is how to create a, a linear regression model and fit a linear regression line through the model. A shortcut of creating y new is y new, y uh, new equal to linreg.predicts. 
x. I think this is how it is. I can't remember exactly, but this is this is also going to give you the same values. Okay, you, I got using this formula I had here. All right, so this is how I come to the end of this short class. I'd like to recommend take your time to do it. Uh, also, take your time to try to change up things, try to change up with a different set of values and try to repl uh, replicate exactly the same thing we did and see how it goes. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember, subscribe so that you don't miss an update and don't miss this lesson. Try to do it yourself. We have two days window to do it and we we'll see you in the next lesson.